that handsome guy at the end over there? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the beard. You made it. You made it. All right. Welcome, Bella. <laughs> we are so grateful to have Kalena and Kala A. Parish with us today. All right, here we go. I imagine it's every parent's nightmare. You look away from your child for just one second, then something bad happens. That's what happened to Alex Geller when his son accidentally broke a rare 3,500-year-old jar in an Israeli museum. Now, Oops. Alex is a dad of three, said his youngest is very curious. So when he heard the crash, the first thing he thought was, and I quote, please let that not be my child. <laughs> but it was. And he just wanted to see what was inside the jar. Now, the family reported the breakage and offered to make whatever restitution was necessary. <laughs> hoping How? 3,500 well, year old. They were hoping it was a replica, that's why. They were oh. hoping it was, you know, like a fake. Yeah, I really. just love that the parents are smiling in the picture, though. <laughs> yeah, for now. Yeah. Yeah, for now. Once they get to the car, different story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But this is how the museum responded, family. After checking the video footage to make sure that it wasn't, you know, intentional or it wasn't vandalism, they actually forgave the little boy and invited him and the family back for a teaching moment. They showed him how, you know, jars that are, uh, are broken, are restored, and pieced back together. Wow. Beautiful. I wish my mom worked at that museum many years ago. That's <laughs> <laughs> a dirty licking. Oh, oh, grab the slipper. Oh, oh, grab the slipper. Yeah, <laughs> the dirty licking. Teaching moment. Never, we never have that teaching moment back then. <laughs> yeah. anyway. I teach you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? so now, now, many people have already credited Taylor Swift's relationship with Travis Kelsey as the reason why so many new fans are watching pro football. In fact, some have gone so far as to credit her for the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl win. That's my team. That's my team. But can she bring the win? for a Major League Baseball team. Take a look. I was uh, gifted a uh, Taylor Swift candle, um, and we've been lighting that before games in my office. It's clubhouse manager uh, Danny Miller, and um, we've gone on a nice, nice little run here, so we're going to credit Taylor Swift. There we go. <laughs> their run has become nine wins in their past 12 games. In fact, the Cubs scored 73 runs in their past seven games, all while lighting the candle, and it's the most in a seven-game span since 1961 for them. <laughs> so here's the candle. It's available in four scents, Beverly Hills, Cactus Blossom, Mahogany Coconut, and Sexy Cowboy. Which one would you guys like? Sexy, Sexy Cowboy. cowboy. <laughs> and she, we're, that's an automatic and, win. And yeah. we're, <laughs> we are buying it immediately. Uh, <laughs> I mean. Hey, if it works for them, I want to rub off on us as well. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, we'll get a palette. This is newlyweds, right? Yeah, 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 newlyweds yeah, yeah. talking. She married one Sexy Cowboy. She yeah, did. <laughs> yeah, as if I need any more. But yeah, I'll take a palette. Natural scent. Natural. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> and you know, you know, people might say that she's got some magic. Little witchcraft inside her. No, 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 no. Yes, I did say that off air. That's Davy's joke. Davey. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of magic, tomorrow is a magical day for a few reasons, and here's one of them. Now, therefore, I, Rick Blanchardi, mayor of the city and county of Honolulu, do hereby proclaim August 31st, 2024, to be Capenna Day. God bless you all. Yeah. Awesome. Tomorrow is officially Capella Day. What was it like to be part of that, Kalena? Oh my gosh, such a cool experience. I really mm -hmm. wasn't expecting it. Um, we came into the mayor's office, beautiful office. I've never been in oh, there yeah. before. <laughs> and such a neat, I mean, I've seen, you know, declarations of days for other incredible, you know, honorees of our beautiful state. And when you get to be a part of that recognition, yeah. it just feels so surreal, I think. Um, but honestly, definitely something that I'm happy that they honored, my, especially my dad with. We're, we're super proud, we've been talking about it. The 40 year anniversary of Copenna is tomorrow mm -hmm. at the Waikiki Shell. And it's really neat because um, a lot of the members who were a part of Copenna throughout the years were there, but you know, we're, we've been saying my dad's the one who's been there for 40 years. Yes. Every single Copenna show for the last 40 years, you saw, you knew you were going to see one person that was Kelly Boy. Oh, yeah. So it was cool to be able to be there in that moment and um, have a little fraction of that history in my um, yeah. in my bio as well. That's yeah, awesome. and you guys are going to be a part of it. We are. Uh, we're so excited. Night. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about that coming up. Uh, yep. Of course, we got to you know, share moments about the concert yes. that's coming up tomorrow, and of course, the tour that you guys have been on. 